On the new transceiver, the TFT meter contains a readout of RF output power and reflected power using a Stockton bridge. So I'm just going to demonstrate that. I've got the transmitter turned on. So I'm just going to wind the power up, the drive up. It's on a single tone. That's around about 10 watts of output. The current drawn by the supply is 8.4 amps at the moment, uh, which is the total supply. I'm just going to wind it up. And the little spot there, that represents 100 watt. And you'll see a little bit of SWR. So I'll just wind that back down. And I'll switch over. I'll turn up to the um, power meter. So here I'm using the Oscar block as a power meter and the signal is actually going into a dummy load so I'm just going to wind the uh, the signal level up. It's actually the microphone control and there's a 100 watt there and you'll see a little bit of SWR on the right hand meter. We actually can go a little bit over. The MRF454s will deliver over 100 watts. There's no ALC at this stage so I'm not pulling anything back. So that's the um, uh, power meter function on the TFT display. Now I can demonstrate a little bit of the SWR. Uh, I'm also going through a tuning unit. So I can actually go to the antenna and um, adjust the tuning unit so we do get some standing wave. So we'll just do that now. So we go to the tuning unit. We're on the tuning unit now. And we will switch on the transmitter. And we'll put a little bit of power out. Not too much. The frequency sounded clear. We just had a, a we earlier check that frequency to say, see if it was alright. So if we adjust the antenna tuning unit, we can introduce some SWR. There's some there. And increase the power a little bit so we get a bit more. That's it there. I'm just ch tuning one of the capacitors on the tuning unit and we'll maybe vary the inductor. That's the inductor in the tuning unit and we'll uh, vary one of the other capacitors in the tuning unit and that's 1.5 to 1 at the moment so we'll have a look at that up on the display. So here is a view of the meter, the power meter has been uh, set on reference set and the SWR is 1.5 to 1 and that looks like that and we're currently looking at around about 35 watts of forward power and a bit more than what we should get uh, shown on the meter of uh, reflected power but we know on the uh, power meter it's actually 1.5 to 1 and uh, this is an example running 100 watts you'll see it come up to the little red mark there and we're getting around about 15 uh, watts back and we'll go up to the power meter and have a look at that so there we have a, a power of 100 watts forward and 2 to 1 and in theory it should be around about 10 watts so the the calibration on the SWR meter on the rig is not too bad if anything it's uh, showing a little bit high so I'll just have another look at that there's the 100 watt mark there so it's seeing 15 watts but in theory it should be 10. Anyway that can be adjusted by changing the sensitivity of the reflected power meter settings. So uh, it does work and uh, we should be able to, uh, I'll drop the power now and I'll just uh, knock that SWR out. I don't want to do it at full power. So I'll just um, null it out. Yeah I've just adjusted the tuning unit so that the um, SWR is now much lower. There we go, we get to 100 watts and we can have a look at the um, the Oscar block. Okay, we'll bring the power up. We'll go to the set mark. It's 100 watts and uh, it's a little bit up there but not much. Knock that back. So there's the RF output uh, I'm picking up just loosely on the crow. The crow's not plugged into anything, it's just the leads picking up in the shack. And there's the uh, other oscilloscope which is sampling a little bit of the RF out of the tuning unit. So that's the uh, signal, it's on 7.151 megahertz. And we're running currently around about 5 watts. Uh, that's what happens when we wind the wick up.
and drop it down. So that's the uh, two tone test on that crow and on the uh, older crow. Uh, so there it is with uh, a little bit tighter in, two and a half kc span, so it's 10, 20, 30. This is the one we're looking at down here. These are second harmonics of the tones. So here is a view of the PA stage. That's the MRF454 amplifier, 100 watts. And down here is the RD16 10 watt driver. Now we'll just go around to the back of the case. And just have a look at that. So down here we have low pass filter. gets driven from the output of the PA stage by the connector goes into the filter and the output goes back inside the back panel where it um, finds its way to the Stockton Bridge that's the bias for the PA stage and just around here we have um, Real time clock module, and that's uh, sampling the heat sink temperature. This is the um, AD603 transmit driver and this section here and the trim pots that adjust the power for each band by varying the gain of the tuned filters, the stage with the tuned filters. That's a bit of a look at the back.